freaking gaming. Oh, no, 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 no Dropbox. Don't do this. Okay. Woo, saved. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the stream today. Hello, hello. Give me one second. Oh, I didn't ping the Discord. Pada ping, pada poom. Uh. All right, right now we're playing Rebirth. Okay. Yeah, this is like a weird uh, beginning of stream. Hi, everybody. Because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> to be completely honest, I have no idea what I'm doing, what I'm playing today. I have not a clue. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to do. So I don't, I did not get my code for Unicorn Overlord in time, so I still do not have it. I keep refreshing my email every like 10 minutes, I swear. Just hoping that it comes through, but it is still not there as of right now. And yeah, so no, no Unicorn Overlord code means no playing for now, but but then um, Dynasty had a really good idea of I should I could play the demo and then the stuff carries over. I thought about that too. I still might. I don't know what I'm doing today. <laughs> Leo, thank you so much for the 43 month resub. I appreciate it. So as of as of this moment in time, this moment I am playing Rebirth. But I might change my mind in like 10 minutes, honestly, to playing uh, to playing Unicorn Overlord. I don't know. I guess the only problem with that is I didn't download it. So like, it's not downloaded on my PC and I don't know how, on my PS5, I mean, and I'm not sure how long it's going to take. <clears throat> Sephiroth did leave me on read, yeah. It's true. <clears throat> yeah. But yeah, I'm a little bit salty that I still don't have the the game code. But at the same time, I do want to play more Rebirth. But at the same time, I do want to play Unicorn Overlord. Like, it's genuinely such a big game that I've been looking forward to for a long time. Ever since they announced it. Because, like, y'all know how much I love Fire Emblem. And then, combined with the amazing art style of Vanillaware. Holy shit, I'm so excited for Unicorn Overlord, actually. <laughs> I'm really excited about it. Wait, you went to Google and the in, wait, Google the English translation of Cheapy Chapa's lyrics. Mind presenting your findings to the class? I feel like I have to know. I can't even venture a guess. Hey Cinder, hey Anna, welcome. Welcome, welcome friends. I have to know you like you can't just say the comment and then not say what you found like what are the lyrics I gotta know but yeah no I feel bad because like I don't like changing my mind or not knowing what I'm even streaming whenever I go live it's not like the biggest deal in the world I just feel weird about it hmm <clears throat> Also, don't mind me, I'm just eating on, like, a little thing of cheese. It tastes good, what can I say? <laughs> Wait, it's Women's Day? What is this? I've, 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 I haven't heard about this. Honestly, not that I care, honestly. I don't I don't celebrate these types of things. Maybe I should. Maybe I'd feel better in life, but I don't. <clears throat> it's a song for kids. Sing sung by a five-year-old girl about inviting a friend to come over and have fun. Aww. Wait, that's actually so cute. There's some sort of hymn to summon a demon lord or something. Would you say a super demon lord? <laughs> Sorry, that was bad.
<clears throat> yeah, what is this Happy Women's Day? What does what does that mean? Happy Women's Day. I don't I don't know what that even means. Sorry, I keep refreshing my um I literally keep refreshing my email hoping International Women's Day. Yeah, I had no idea. What am I supposed to do? Go out and get ice cream? I still... I just want it to be known that this is my birthday month, and it is one week into my birthday month, and I still have not had ice cream. I'm gonna lose my mind. Maybe I should treat myself to ice cream, because it's my birthday month and it's apparently Women's Day. I don't know what that means. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Like, what, what, what do I do? No problem, Toby. Thank you so much for chilling. I might switch to Unicorn Overlord, so I would recommend sticking around because I, I actually don't know which game I'm playing today, as of right now. <clears throat> oh, it's similar to like Mother's Day, Father's Day? Oh. Well then where are my flowers? I'm just kidding. I'm not that spoiled. Yeah, no, I don't know. I never celebrate these types of days. I never know what to do about it. Like, am I, am I supposed to? Am I supposed to do something? I don't know. During Women's Day, all crimes committed by women are forgiven and forgotten. Oh, what crime can I commit today? I don't know. I feel like I can't commit much crimes out in the country. That there's nothing to do out here that I feel like I would break the law. Like, what can I? What, what would I do? I... I don't know. Or give a flower to a female family member or two. Your mom got a rose from work? What? That's actually so cute. <laughs> When's Sir Elliot Day? He was in here. I don't know. Maybe he'll come in later. Oh, steal a ton of ice cream? Okay, here's the problem with that. I'm a little bit lazy, and going to a grocery store around here literally takes, like, 15-minute drive. I'm used to, like, a two-minute drive to this grocery store. Like, it's a quick run. But, like, grocery store out in the countryside, I'm like, man, I really gotta travel for that to get ice cream, which is a goddamn shame. But it might be worth it. Man, I don't know. It might be worth it. The other thing is that Dom is leaving me for the weekend. So, if I don't get ice cream today, I'll never get ice cream because I won't have the car to go out and get it. Which is a crime. You had ice cream last night? What flavor did you have? I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a basic chocolate bitch, man. My favorite is, like, chocolate with brownie bits. Like, mini, mini brownie chunks in my, in my chocolate ice cream is the best. That's all. That's all I want out of my ice cream. Chocolate and brownie bits. Sometimes I'll add a little slice of, like, French vanilla in there. It has to be French vanilla, not vanilla bean. French vanilla. And sometimes that tastes good, too. Cherry chocolate. Dude, that's Dom's favorite, too. He loves cherry chocolate. Do they not have Instacart? I don't- what is Instacart? <laughs> I've, ne I've never heard of that. Carnations and roses are popular gifts we used to give uh, to get bouquet for our female teachers. Oh, Wait, that's so cute. tiramisu ice cream. I don't know how that works either, but I feel like that would actually be good. Instacart is like DoorDash, Uber Eats. Oh, no. In the countryside, I don't really think that works. There's like a, there's a distance limit. That's the problem. Because like whenever I order delivery, it's like they can only travel out so many miles. 
it seems like there's always a limit. So, uh, we're like really out in the boonies here. <laughs> so, um, I, I don't think I can. I actually, we did try to get delivery. There's like, I think two places, only two places we can order from here that that were that delivered to our door. Um, and I don't want either of them. One of them is like an Indian place, which I'm really not in the mood for, and the other one is a Chinese place, which I'm also not in the mood for. <clears throat> I'm basic too. I love chocolate and vanilla only. Yeah. Like, when you get to the fancy flavors, I'm like, like, chocolate fudge? Good. Chocolate with brownies in them? Good. Yeah. Oh, it's a grocery shopping service where you can give them your shopping list and then someone goes to the store to get it and delivers it to you. Huh. That's interesting. That sounds, like, very expensive. Whenever the driver has to drive a while because like literally they would have to drive 15 minutes one direction so 30 minutes i guess i don't know where they start but yeah the groceries from the grocery store to this place is it's pretty far <clears throat> you live a solid 30 minutes from town and there's no such thing as instacart or food delivery here yeah I wish. This is why I can't live in the country, man. I can't do it. I can't live in the country. I, I need I need to be able to deliver stuff. I feel too secluded from every- from, like, humanity. Which can be great on a vacation, but, like, living like this permanently, I think I would lose my goddamn mind. <clears throat> is it hard to make ice cream? They do have, like, ice cream makers. I used to have one whenever I was a kid. My mom had one. And now that I think of it, though, I don't think it ever turned out to be good ice cream. But that was also an ice cream maker from, like, 20 years ago, right? So I'm, maybe they're, like, better nowadays? I don't know. You love the Costa del Sol theme? It's good. It's just such a good vibe in the background right now. Did y'all ever make ice cream in a bag? No, but I've seen YouTube videos of people doing that, like in vlogs. As long as I have my games with me. I mean, I do agree that all I need is my video games, but at the same time, man, I just really need to be around society. Like, I need to be around people and, like, life. Because, yeah, it, like, it's... The quietness is nice here in this place, in the country, but it's also really- I find it kind of terrifying sometimes. Like, I need to know that there's some signs of life. <laughs> it feels like time is stopping out here, it's kind of weird. Hmm. <clears throat> We had one too, my dad always made us homemade ice cream. Aw, we only used it a couple times. But I don't think we used it much more after that because I wasn't satisfied with how it tasted. I think it was more of a texture thing, it never turned out good. It tasted okay. <clears throat> People are overrated, I must game. <laughs> That's very base, you know what? <laughs> I'm happy for you. <laughs> Gaming is all we need. Hmm. I like where I live, not in the middle of nowhere, but not near all the busy loudness that is downtown. Oh, I just... Hold on. This is really random, but I need to write something in my checklist. Not in the middle of nowhere, but not near all the busy loudness that is downtown. Yeah, that's why I like the suburbs so much. Being in the true countryside scares me. And the fact that, like, you drive on the same road, just going straight, 
for like 10 minutes and it seems like I get nowhere. Because yeah, going from here to the grocery store, it's basically just like two turns. You just go in a this formation, but like the road is just straight and endless and just keeps going straight and it's just endless forever and ever and ever. And all you have on either side of you is just fields forever. It's just the same field <laughs> and the occasional house. <clears throat> Your family tried to make ice cream once, but somehow it ended up salty. Salty? So how? What did they do? Who needs people when video game characters exist, am I right? I like driving down those roads on trips, but then- but that would get old so quick living there. Uh, yeah. I don't think I can handle it on a drive either, because, like, one thing I like about my drives, even from, like, here to Philadelphia, it's actually, like, a really nice highway. It's pretty scenic and has a lot of, like, diversity in it, but, like, if that whole drive was just fields and fields and nothing but fields, I think I would go fucking crazy. Are you playing Unicorn Overlord today? That's a great question. I don't know. I... I don't know what I'm playing. Right- as of right now, I'm playing Rebirth. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I want to play Unicorn Overlord. It would be the demo, though. I don't have the game yet. I- I, <laughs> I don't know. Here, let me check my email again. Let's see if I got the code. Nope, still don't got the code. I keep refreshing my email, guys. Like, I'm, I'm trying. This is a disaster. I love knowing that my kids can play outside without me worrying about strangers. I love how quiet it is walking out at night and seeing the stars, but there's no such thing as a quick late night McDonald's run if you forgot something from the store and it's a hassle to go back. Yeah, and everything closes here so early in the countryside too. If I want to go anywhere, most things close at 5 p.m. Which doesn't make sense to me, because if you have a regular 9 to 5 job, how do you go to these places that close at 5? I literally never understood that. I don't- like, I don't understand why so many businesses close at 5 o'clock. I- I don't- I, I have never- I have never understood this, because you're a basic bitch person. Like, most people in life have a 9 to 5 job. What? why you- So anyway. Yeah, everything closes here so early, I don't understand. <laughs> I am in Canada, yeah. Unicorn Overlord is out right now. It is. Yes. How do you like Rebirth so far? It's literally way better than I thought it was going to be. They're actually blowing my expectations out of the water. Holy shit, this game is amazing. Hi, Wisdom! Doctors and dentists all closing at 5 and on the weekends, and it drives me insane. I can't imagine. You've been playing it this morning? Oh, I hope you're enjoying it. Hmm. <clears throat> You have to take a sick day or get fired to go out. <laughs> you never played the original and this is all new to me and I'm all for it. I'm so happy to hear that. I feel like, man, I would love to know the statistics of that. Like, what are the percentage of players that play the remake and rebirth that haven't played the original seven? I'm very curious about that. Because in my head, a lot of people played the original, but it's- I think that's actually not true. 
I think most people haven't played the original and are playing this game for the first time, which is fantastic. I just would love to know. I want to know that stat. <clears throat> You're waiting until I finish Rebirth and going for Unicorn Overlord. Don't think I can juggle them too big. Yeah, I, w I think I can juggle these two games. Like I mentioned yesterday, it's like one's a tactics game that doesn't have a heavy story narrative, and the other one is a remake of a game that I know very well. So I feel like if I can do two games at the same time, it's these two games, because they're not remotely like the same type of game. And I think that really helps a lot. Like, it'd be different if I was, like, playing two action RPGs at the same time, where the combat system is very similar and then I forget my controls. But I don't think in this case that that's gonna happen, because they're very different. Most people who play the OG are, like, 30+, plus. I think you doubt society. But, yes, I'm also turning 30. <laughs> Yes, I am turning 30 in two weeks. Thanks for the reminder. <laughs> ah? I was a Nintendo person as a kid. I was too. I grew up playing only Nintendo games. Uh, but my brother somehow got FF7. It was illegal on my PC at the time. I don't know how he got it on my PC, but I played it there. I was 10 years old, so 2004, I played it. They go nuts on characterization. They go nuts on everything in this game. It's actually crazy. It's wild to me. Your first console was a GameCube and an original DS? Dang! GameCube was the best. I love, I love, love, love the GameCube. How did you not know about video games until 2008? Damn. I like how my mom, because she was so busy and couldn't deal with three kids, her way of like occupying my time was to just put a Game Boy in my hand and I went nuts. I just, she just gave me a Game Boy and I played so much Pokemon and that was game over. Like me having a Game Boy was I was a gamer ever since. <laughs> you don't remember why you stopped playing? I feel like you're not the only one I've heard that. There's a lot of people that play the original FF7 but couldn't finish getting through it. And that's fine. <clears throat> Were we iPad kids, but with Game Boys? Yeah? Yeah. I guess that's, like, kind of the equivalent. But the only big difference there is, like, with a Game Boy, you're only limited to the games that you have, right? But on an iPad, you have access to every goddamn app, everything that you could ever want to play. But me, I was, like, fixated on Pokemon because that's all I had. So I think that there's a big difference there. I think that a lot of similarities could be made. But... Ugh. Giving, a, giving an iPad to a kid, though. You have the big, wide-open world. You have no limitations. <laughs> Baby Crystal went cheapy chapa with games. Just with Pokemon Yellow, Red, Blue. All of the early Pokemon games. Like, I went crazy hard. Super Mario Land was another one. Um, 
and Donkey Kong Country. I know there's like child lock things, types of things on uh, on iPads, but still, they still have access to like a lot though. You're only like four hours into the OG7. Oh geez, so you actually did go back. Oh, I think you mentioned that the other day that you were playing it. You could catch me with my GBA playing the fuck out of Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. I never got that game. My mom just stuck with Pokemon at that point, like my Game Boy era. The only other game, like, uh, I only was able to play Fire Emblem Sacred Stones because my brother wanted that game. My mom bought all the Pokemon games for me, and any other game that was outside of that jurisdiction was because of my brother. So Fire Emblem was because of him. And then he also played Golden Sun, which I still never got to play. And then Advance Wars was the other one that I played because of my brother. And... Um... What was the other... Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh! There was a Yu-Gi-Oh! game for Game Boy Advance that I played a lot. That was the only other one outside of Pokemon that my mom, that my mom bought for me. But my brother got all the other games. <laughs> You're playing Sacred Stones right now? <gasps> I hope you're enjoying it. It's a fantastic game. I love Sacred Stones. I think it was like such a good entry point for me playing Fire Emblem. It was great. I can't be mad about starting off with that game. <laughs> oh, I loved Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh was the shit. Mario and Luigi was your first RPG. That that is pretty great. <clears throat> Your first Fire Emblem was Awakening, and after that I went back and played the GBA games. Yes! Awakening is another really, really great start. No, my mom was not like Pokemon. Oh, a Pokemon is a devil. She would have said that about SMT if she ever bought me an SMT game. That definitely is made by the devil, according to my mom, I'm sure. Yeah, Sacred Stones is Erica and Ephraim and Leon. Mario and Luigi games are why I'm here. In 2019, I was replaying them and wanted another turn-based RPG, so I picked up Persona 5 on sale, and then I got the Akechi Making Pancakes video recommended to me on YouTube, and here we are. Oh my god. I still can't believe that's how you found my channel. That stupid-ass Akechi Making Pancakes video. That was the dumbest thing I've ever done. Like, what the hell? Some of the chapters are kind of hard in Sacred Stones. I'm trying to remember. I played through the game at least five times. But it was because that's all I played whenever I was younger. I don't... Wow. I'm like trying to remember the game. The flow. I remember being really frustrated at Mer. I think that's her name. The dragon. Manakee. Uh, because I felt like a lot of the missions with Mer, I had to rescue. It was like a rescue mission. Like, you had to keep her safe. And I was really frustrated because you don't get a dragon stone for a while. Maybe I'm remembering that wrong. But, like, she needs to fight with a dragon stone. And you don't get a dragon stone for a while. Or maybe it was that, like, you only had 40 uses of, of the Dragonstone, and then... And then you don't get another one for a while, so the durability breaks so early. 
And she's OP as fuck. I think that was it, actually. Anyway, Murr, I think, was a lot of the difficulty. <laughs> That's what I remember, at least. Oh, 50 uses. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so yeah, you don't get another dragon zone. It's it's kind of nuts. Ugh. And I don't remember, but I think Murr was required in a lot of maps. She's tough. I saw her dragon zone was limited and was too for scared to break it. Yeah, okay, so I'm not going crazy here. Yeah, that sounds right. That's... It's funny because that's one of my key memories from Sacred Stones. I think Ephraim's route was designed to be a little bit more difficult than Erica's. Because, yeah, I remember a lot of the Ephraim missions gave me quite some trouble. It's hard for me to say if Sacred Stones is easier than Blazing Blade because I played them like 10 years apart from each other. Like Blazing Blade, I came back and I played on an emulator like way after. So I have no idea. And at that point, like I'm a lot better at the game, right? So I don't know. I can't, I can't really say. I will confess to childhood crimes. My dad bought both my brother and I two pirated cartridges of Nintendo DS. And he would torrent packs of games overnight since we couldn't afford physical copies. And now I have a guilty conscience and I'm dead set on purchasing a copy of every game I've ever played. Aw, but that's on your dad. But other, like, reading that just kind of made me feel admiration for your dad. Like, I know that that's a crime technically but at the same time i find that very sweet because i'm assuming it's maybe because they didn't have the money for it like if you want to do something nice for your kid but you can't afford to and and like money is tight i think that's actually i think that that's a sweet gesture honestly <laughs> Like, dad's just trying to do what he can to make his kid happy. I think that that's cute. He'll do whatever it takes. I would do anything to see my children happy. Yeah. I think, it's, I think that's kind of sweet. We never would have been able to afford all the games we were going through because we, we were very fast at finishing them too. Aww. Oh, jeez. Oh, weird. I'd like a sharp pain for a second. Man, okay, we're 30 minutes into stream, y'all. I need to figure out what I'm playing today for you guys. God damn it. Okay, as of, I didn't refresh in the past 10 minutes, and apparently my key is here. I now have my Unicorn Overlord key. I'm just very... I'm so frustrated at the wording of this email. I'm so sorry. It's so triggering. I'm like so upset at this whole situation. So yeah, as of 10 minutes ago, I got the key sent to me for Unicorn Overlord. Man. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, the thing is, I don't know how long it's going to take to download, especially on my internet, which is shit. But 
But yeah, no, I just sent an email to them like, hey, like, because they promised me I would have the key by 2 a.m. this morning. And so I sent an email when I woke up. I was like, hey, I haven't received it. And the the emails the email says I just resent the link to get the key. Resent it? You never sent it in the first place. Don't try to make me feel bad about it. It's so triggering. Um Okay, I can man, I really don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm tilted as fuck. They mean they resent it. They didn't they didn't send it in the first place. I think I'm gonna play Rebirth. I'm just pissed. <laughs> hmm. Three months already, what the heck? Time flies, Christus. Sorry, y'all. I'm like, mm. Yeah, we're gonna do a Mishinima uh, abridged episode. Who resubbed? Osaku. Osaku. Uh, Us Thank you so much for the three month resub. I appreciate it. Hi, Liga. Yeah. Because it sucks because I really do want to play Unicorn Overlord. We're not going to be able to start it until Tuesday if I don't play it right now. So I'm, I'm just kind of like thinking about that because I really do want to play it. <sighs> why does this whole situation just have to suck? Like, why? <laughs> Oh jeez, what happened to my OBS? <laughs> you can do whatever you want, it's Women's Day. I don't think it works like that. But yeah, I, I'm i sorry. I think I'm gonna play Rebirth. This is just really tilting how bad this has been. Uh, if they would have just sent me the key, but not saying it like that. <laughs> okay. Alright, Machinima abridged. I think we're on episode... four? Oh, we're on episode five. Okay, this... No, it doesn't matter if I play Unicorn Overlord on the first day. It doesn't matter. It just sucks for them, honestly. Because, yeah, people streaming a launch game on the, the first day is really important to a company. <sighs> so, I mean, this is only kind of a detriment to them. Hmm. Thank you guys, though. Sorry, I'm like... Trying to contain how tilted I am. Okay, let us. 
Okay, I'm gonna turn off the Costa del Sol music. Okay, we're just gonna do that. All right, let's do this. Hi, Tion. Hi. That doesn't matter. All right, here we go. Episode five. Okay, this doesn't make any sense. Why was Tifa riding in the back of that carriage? And why was she wearing that outfit? Oh, does she not normally dress that way? No, she's usually wearing less. Lovely. <laughs> uh, hey, man, oh, did Elliot. a girl in a blue dress pass by here? Listen, buddy, I see a lot of girls in a lot of different outfits. Okay, she has brown hair, about five foot four, looks 20, long legs. Mm, yeah, that's not ringing any bells. Enormous tits and probably insulted you? Oh, yeah, her! She's got a mouth, you know what I'm saying? Oh, the Don's gonna have a field day with her. Oh, are they going to pick flowers? Nope, but there's gonna be a lot of plowing, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Elaborate. Oh, this is Don Corneo's girls-only mansion. We uh, pick up some girls for uh, auditions, and if the Don likes them, they uh, <laughs> get the job. Uh-oh. What kind of auditions? Like for dancing? <gasps> I did ballet for three years, so I'm super flexible. Want to see? You don't say. Want to audition behind that card over there? Do I? <laughs> nope, nope. Aerith, can I talk to you for a second? to me that Tifa has been kidnapped by a mafia leader with the intention to give her... the sex. Oh no, she can't do that till she's married! <laughs> yeah, okay, anyways, she's in need of a rescue and since Cornholia's mansion is girls only, we need a plan. Hmm, girls only? What if I go in and find her? Yeah, no, you kind of got the whole incorruptible purity vibe going on and those guys will probably eat you alive. Like a strawberry? If your name was Strawberry. <laughs> well, you could protect me. Not unless I dressed up like a woman. <gasps> okay, no. But you'd make a gorgeous woman. You're just saying that. I bet you'd look like the most beautiful woman in the whole world. I bet you'd look even prettier than Tifa. So what you're suggesting is that not only would I be rescuing her, but I'd also be way better looking doing it. <laughs> Hmm. I don't hear a no. Stay right here, Mr. Dormant. I'll be bringing my blonde friend. Well, if she's at least half as pretty as your guy friend over there. Okay, let's get going. Hi, mister. We need the prettiest dress in the world. Ah, you want the pretty dress? You're coming to Giuseppe. Good choice. I'm I love Giuseppe's for voice. You, huh? Oh, no, it's not for me. It's for my friend here. It's his first dress. Oh, <gasps> First dress! Oh, I make up for you the greatest dress in all the land! What's wrong with the ones you got out here? Bah! Giuseppe spits on those! Giuseppe make you a dress worthy for a man of your attention. Giuseppe, you just made my good list! Ah, uh, Giuseppe on everyone's good list! Yeah! Well, he's making it, let's go find more stuff to doll you up! Sure, let's ride this train all the way to the end. Next stop, Wig Central. Choo-choo! Okay, no. As I have told you, I sold my last wig to one of those weird buff dudes from the church. Ah! All I have for sale now are drugs. Are you sure? Yes, very sure. Drugs are all I have for sale. Maybe check the back? Sure, let me take a look. Nope, all drugs. Oh, looks like we've been derailed. Stop that. Where is this church? Welcome to the Church of Broden. Have you come seeking swole acceptance from the swole father? Uh, <laughs> no. We heard you had a wig? You mean the crown of golden locks? Yeah. Think we could, like, uh, borrow it? Ha! You dare walk into the Iron Temple and demand the righteous locks of Brodin? <laughs> hmm. We challenge you for it. What? A challenge? Hmm, we are listening, Valkyrie. Cloud was in Soldier, so I bet he's really good at doing exercises. 
Like squats? Aerith, what are you doing? A curious challenge. We accept Squatically! Squatically! Who summons the mighty Squatically? <laughs> oh, oh my! He dare challenges the vascular quadriceptical prowess of Squatocles! Oh, I say he is f***ed in the head, bro! Do I really need to do some stupid exercise challenge just to borrow your wig? Indeed you do, outsider. But tell us, why do you wish for these oh, wicked yes. locks? We're Wait. turning him into a woman. Yes, that is why I said Broden like that. Yes, now you know why I said it like that. Oh, well, you can just take it if that's the case. Seriously? Of the Church course. of Broden. No one should ever be challenged for their lifestyle. I feel like context is needed. Is there anything else we can help you with on your journey? Do you know any place where we can get more girly stuff? Squatocles knows a place. Once again, just drugs. You sure, man? <laughs> Am I, the owner of my own store, sure that I have anything else besides drugs? No, I'm pretty sure. Well, do you know a place where we can find some girly stuff? I don't know. Why don't you try the Gentleman's Club down the street? Gentleman's Club? Wait, why would a club filled with gentlemen have... Aww. Yeah! Thanks for watching everyone glad you and <laughs> there you guys go there there you go that's uh episode five of mashna bridge congratulations <laughs>
for inspiration. Well, we're a real couple. Like Wait, no. Gig. This is awkward. Let's ask about Hojo. Hojo, as in that Shinra guy? We were just doing the mayor a favor. That's all. And if we're being honest, we figured it couldn't hurt to butter up a company bigwig. We got a business to run. True. I, I, you know, I respect the hustle. Because we can tell you like your women assertive. And since we're all about strong, confident ladies, we thought, ka-ching. One look at you and we knew. That woman's not afraid to take what she wants. Maybe? I mean, uh, I'd like to think so. We knew you would. And so... We've already planned the perfect date for lovebirds like you. Get rowdy at Run Wild. Be ready to swashbuckle at Pirate's Rampage. This is going to be your best date yet. We'll make sure We're going on a date. Yeah, that's a good takeaway. Hojo does have Elvarez, yes. You're going to absolutely love what we've cooked up for you. First, find Naomi and Fran. They'll kickstart your date. They'll be waiting for you at Run Wild and Pirate's Rampage. Have fun! I... you know what? I this will have fun. This is one of the stranger jobs you've accepted. Still a job. I'll take the lead. Hey, I can help. I'll make this date our best yet. We can just keep it simple. I'll buy him a ring. And what's a simple day in your world? Every little thing we like, need for your walk. travel. <laughs> Across rooftops, perhaps? Like a walk. The Cloud's sure. idea of a date, Ride everybody. A walk. To Someone took their sweet time, I see. I literally ran straight here. Game will start without you. What game? Run wild, of course. Tell me you've heard of it. It's only the hottest sport in town. Not hard to guess why, seeing all those cutie wooties. I mean, it's the perfect spot for a date. Are you ready to go? I'm ready. Oh no, wait, I gotta play this game again? Shoot the numbered balls into their corresponding goals in the shortest amount of time. Elliot. Oh god. All right. More mini game. Wish me luck, okay? You do know this is for animals, right? Not people. People are technically animals too, right? <laughs> so it's cool. Wrong. Not cool. What? I really can't compete? No, but I mean, she can. Not wrong. Although I take umbrage with that nomenclature, I'm happy to offer my assistance. Red's got this. <sighs> well, I guess we'll just have to be the cheer squad. Give me an E! Give me a D! Give me a D? Oh god, I don't know how to play. Wait, that's black. And that's... a, a red one? Oh, I have to do them in num- Oh, in order! Oh! <laughs> they have to get the most out of their mini-games, guys. I can't tell if this is colorless or black. Where's the... Is this the black one? actual goalposts now.
You can't stop me. I'm a god gamer. Um, red, black, blue. I couldn't find the blue, god damn it. I feel like most of this minigame is me trying to find the balls. There. No, I'm... This one. It did go in, right? Are you... Can't be serious. Hard to control balls. Why is it? <laughs> okay. Oh, I was actually, I feel like I could have gotten first place. Damn it. Aerith wants a D, but you're struggling to find the balls. You are like a red bolt shooting across that field. I am quick on my feet. The three of us should go around sometime. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> if you enjoy losing. Damn, Red. Their dog is the glue that binds their relationship. And watching their little guy give it his all out there only serves to strengthen their bond. That's it! I'm such a genius! I've got to get this idea down on paper! I need yeah. to get back to the shop. What did I do? Like, yesterday. Brand's over at Pirate's Rampage, by the way. She'll make sure the next part of your date is a blast. Oh, get it? A literal blast because you're shooting stuff? That's funny. I wonder you what the girls have next on the agenda for us. More cheap date ideas? Trying to get paid. You're no fun at all today. Come on, come on. Well, for the record, I am treating this as a date. Oh, Aaron. You wouldn't. Why? Because I'm no romantic. Believe me, I know. Right. <laughs> Oh my god! Talk about <laughs> wow! Look who it is! So, are you ready to aim and do well and you might just land a The bullseye to my heart. Cool. Avenge the fallen swashbucklers by sniping their ghastly adversaries. The more accurate your shots, the higher your score. Oh, I have to be accurate now? I can't just shoot because I feel like it. trying. Oh! Well. What's happening? Sweet. Oh, I think that one was going to flip. Nice one. Oh boy. Great job. You did it. Great job. No.
someone confident. Nice one. Ugh. Wow. Great job. Nice one. Holy shit. What did I get? What? Wow! I got rank one. Try again. Chat, do you know if I can come back and do this again? Like this other version of the minigame another time? Or do I have to get this now? Does anybody know this? Because, like, I don't know if this is specific to the side quest, because I can do this in my own time, like, do the ring, too. You can come back? Okay. All right, not bad. Though, I'm pretty sure I've got better aim. Thanks, Jack. Now, here's a woman who knows how to hunt for a man. I like. I'm better with a sword. She never once took her eyes off her man. And the way she stared at him... <gasps> The score didn't matter. Thanks, cuties. That was just what I needed. I'll head back now that the creative juices are flowing again. You two find your Air be staring me down, be huh? over by the Chocobo stables, just outside of town. Sorry, my frames are dropping right now. Wonder what sort of design the girls are gonna come up with. Hey, this what kind of Oh, like way over here? Okay. So, so what do you want to see? Of Costa Me? Del Sol's many tourist yes, you. I'm curious. Well, I prefer function over form. So, durable, may be made with non-absorbent materials that allow for full range of motion. In case you need to fight underwater. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Okie <-dokey> dokie then. <laughs> Aerith is not having it. She's like hoping and wishing that Cloud was more romantic. Oh Jesus! The best way to make tracks is on Choco Back. Choco Boat right here, folks. There you are. Okay, I've got a great activity for you. So the idea is to ride Kaima here and enjoy a romantic stroll along the beach. I Aww. love the Choco Bell. But that on its own sounds like a huge yawn fest. So try hunting for shells while you're at it. How about you bring me the largest one you can find? Sound good? I'll be chillin' back here. So you two run along and have yourselves one shell of a time. I could do without the one. Definitely could do without it. Can I jump over this? Oh, I can't. We should be able to find some good shells around here. But first, we clean up the trash. You gotta be careful. I am dying, by the way. Wait, what is this music? Cutie patootie. 
All right, the fire damage will break their stance if left uh, uninterrupted. They will strengthen themselves further with ice energy. Okay. I'm a fucking toad. You're mine now. One more shot. Now, nowhere to run. Get him. I never this met. I have not. Take over. All right. That'll do. Take it from here. I'm coming. I'll take care of you. Follow my lead. Go for it. Let's do this. Go on. I don't remember. Honestly, I don't remember the tracks much in remake. I'll admit it. Any last words? All right, seashells. Ready or not, here we come. <sighs> Let's saddle up first, then search. Sounds good. Back on the birds we go. Search for seashells while enjoying a date with Aerith. Okay. I like how... Okay, everybody runs away, but it's just me and me and Aerith. Wait, it's just literally right here. That was very tough. This is not the shell you are looking for. Oh boy. Okay. How about I go over here? Warning? Oh. I thought I could go that way because Red was over there. I'm still getting a warning. Way over there, okay. Another... Okay. Cloudwick looks so stupid, by the way. Swimming trunks, big sword on a chocobo. I look so dumb. being into it. I mean, Cloud said it himself. He's not much of a You're romantic. You'll, it'll be a, it'll be a special on. day when Cloud actually expresses an intense emotion of any kind. That is far away. I need to still find three of these? Really? For sure. <laughs> <laughs>
a lot of fighting going on. Best day Cloud could have imagined. Yeah, I get to fight some stuff. I get to prove that I was in soldier first class. No. Tagging out. Leave it to me. That's it. I'll make I'm it not clear. trying to escape. Gotcha. Going in. One more no shot. Run. Leave. Got you. Go on. That's it. All done. Where's my chocobo? Did I finally get one? Where are these shells? This is bullshit is what this is. Whoa. What? I don't think I've ever seen How did I find a shell on a before? rock? Hmm. If these things are all this size, I bet the suckers who live in them would make for good eating. Wonder how they taste. <laughs> We could ask a local, but you don't strike me as the type to care all that much. It's so teeny tiny. You know, a lot of troopers take half a show with them when they head out on missions. I know where this is going. It's meant to be a keepsake for their partner, right? A symbol of their undying love. And an omen of death for the trooper if anyone else sees either one. That's Some people far. Say. Oh, that took a turn. we can go out. No, don't stop searching. I want to try to give Cloud the benefit of the doubt and say like, oh, you know, he's doing his best. But, um, I don't... <laughs> Wait, I thought I couldn't go over here. Please be it. Nice, a conch. These got it. one too. Whew. I think that should just about do it. Okay, ready to go? I'm ready to go, Aerith. Naomi. Welcome back, you two. So, happen to find any neat shells out there? How is the beach? Romantic? Which of the shells will you hand over? Wait, I'm so confused. Why am I? Why would I not do the three star one? <sighs> Whoa. Huge, right? Dang. That thing belongs in a museum or something. I can't help but wonder what is making her smile from ear to ear like that. Is it the shells? Or... Aha! I've got it! Inspiration has finally struck! I know what to make! But before <laughs> I go, swing by the fashion showcase. We want you front row center! I feel so bad for See Eric right now. Next time we need a chocobo, I say we write double. The and best slow down way to the make bird. tracks is on chocobo. Which would make it that chocobo much easier so to take in all the scenery. I'm still steering. Oh my god. Oh, so fine. If you've got to be the man up front. You gotta to rub to Cloud's to ego, Aerith. That's all he has. He's having an identity you know, crisis. I Give him a break. Tour Coast to Del Sol in style with our wheelies. It's down? Yeah, it's not on the beach.
Oh, damn. Wanna shoot your shot? This swimsuit's got perfect aim. <laughs> Love might be a game, but you'll never lose in this winning ensemble. Wanna land a big catch? With this look, it'll be hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> Hi, I want them. Oh! That's, uh, My I friends. forget. Jules! You forgot the name. Perfect swimsuit physique. You wanna get ripped? You want a hot fog? Then you better train with the best of the best! So come, come join, join our, our gym! gym. And, and muscle, muscle maximize! <laughs> They're just randomly here. I lost Elliot. I'm so glad you came! So, what did you think of the show? You were the inspo after all. I absolutely loved it. But the two of us didn't do anything inspo worthy. We just had fun. That's what we wanted. Happy couples get us inspired and fired up. Exactly. This place is more than just a vacay spot. It's a paradise where people come to create lifelong memories. And making sure they do is what we do best. So next time you swing by, promise to frolic in the waters, bask in the sun, enjoy our town to its fullest, and leave with a smile. <laughs> <laughs> Do my eyes deceive me? Is that Cloud? <laughs> oh, hey! You trade the city for the beach, too? What are you doing here? Relaxing, really. We're on our yearly beach retreat. And commissioning this year's new singlets from these talented young women. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> that reminds me. Stop by the training facility when you have a moment. We're in need of your particular skills. Okay. Updated versions. Oh, they're now available to play at any time. Yep, I can do that in my own time. All right. And now me and Aerith have That's a very strong bond. But was it right for me? I'm expecting lots of lovebirds next season. Oh. I wonder if there's a market for doggy swimsuits. <gasps> doggy swimsuits. Do you think your furry friend would mind modeling for me? Red. It's your turn, buddy boy. Save your aching feet and ride a wheelie instead. No, oh, thank you, Alan. I appreciate it. Beat the heat with this magical treat. All right, this quest. Bodybuilders in a bind. Jules! I'm just wondering if I do this on or off stream. We do like Jules, though. It could be funny. I'm, uh, I'm a little conflicted. To Wu Tai from part three just for the mini games. I mean, you go to Wu Tai and, uh, well, soon as an optional thing, too. I really do want to do plot, though. How about fuck it? What if I just do like a 10 hour stream today? Oh, there you are. Glad you could make it. Cloud, Tifa, once a year we take a retreat to enjoy the sun and sea breeze. Nothing like getting some gains in the great outdoors. What do you say? Care to sweat with us? Yeah. I think I would. I haven't done a proper workout in forever. Well, we'll happily help you both become your best selves. Train with us as long as you like. You mean it? Well, I might just take you up on that. Here's a question for you, Cloud. What would you say is the key to a good workout? Post-workout meal and unwavering resolve for gains. Uh, a post-workout meal. Like, I feel like I need something to look forward to as, like, a reward. Exactly. Can't expect to bulk up without the building blocks. 
Treat your muscles to a nice post-workout meal, and they'll reward you with even bigger gains. Now let's get down to business, shall we? The reason I wanted you to stop by? Monsters have been spotted skulking around the facility. Not monsters. Sure. Should be easy enough. Splendid. We can't train our bodies unless our minds are at ease. So you'll be doing all of us muscle heads a big favor. Our muscles might start to atrophy if we have to live in fear of fiend attacks. People need to know they're safe to train properly. Defeat the fiends near the training gym. Okay. Let's get out there and kick some ass. Someone's excited. Well, yeah. Wanted an excuse to work up a sweat, and now I've got one. Wonder what little Tifa would say. <laughs> I think she'd be pretty proud. Little Tifa. <laughs> Let me see if there's anything to assess here. The schoolmaster. Too bad. You're mine. Go on. It's over. No more. Here it comes. This one's for you! Let's see. Oh, I do have Blizzard. What does Aerith have? She has Thunder and Air. Okay. Shatter! Gotcha! Let's do this! One more shot! Since this is by the ocean, would this be the Church of Brosidon? Brosidon! I dare say yes. Really go wrong with state, I guess. What? Huh? Oh, sorry. Just some mental meal prep. The ideal post-workout dish. <laughs> so, you were the one behind Seventh Heaven's menu? Half was a holdover from the old owner. The better half was mine. Huh. Should I hate there more? Yeah, why didn't yeah. you, Cloud? You snooze, you lose. Some friend Cloud is, right? That's it! And catch! So it's Gotta my be turn? Careful. That it? Get him! Okay. Uh, yeah! Go on! Gotta go for it now. Accepted. Cloud's just dying in the corner. Can you take over for me? Hey! Watch this. I never miss. Watch this. You're up. Taking over. You're mine. It's over. He didn't do Tifa solid, no. Hey, Cloud, would you say you're a picky eater? Soldiers can't be choosers. We ate what we were fed. Well, I used to be super picky, actually. Really? Used to be. Not anymore, though. Can't be choosers in the slums either. What about crab? Did I really not get this station? <laughs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> I'm like Tifa. I used to be such a big eater. I still kind of am sometimes, but I'm a lot better than I used to be. That I can definitely say. I used to be pretty bad. But then I think about the time y'all made fun of me last time for all of the things that I that I don't eat. Berries. Get him! I am 
just going to wait. I don't know if I did the crown lands. Allow me. Like assessed it. It's on you. I'll take tagging out. I got this. All good. Scratch. <laughs> Going in. That's that. Be at peace. I'm doing terrible. Still in it. Wow, they're losing points. Okay. I'm a, I'll admit that like I have never gotta stay. I just walked into that. That'll do. I've never eaten crap because it kind of scares me. I hope I'm not alone. Like eating some foods, if some foods is like kind of scary. That's me and my relationship with crab and a lot of other seafood. Like mussels are a great example. I'm sorry, I have a hard time even looking at mussels because the fact that people eat those. Like every time I watch, like Dom, he loves getting a bucket of mussels. I'm like, every time I watch him, I'm like, that'll do. It looks disgusting. Question. What kind of meals do they feed soldiers? They put a Hold on, Tifa. Hold that thought. Not a thought into making them healthy. Not much into making them tasty. Ugh. <laughs> that face says it all. You know, it's funny. What? Didn't realize it at the time, but we ate pretty good when we were kids. Yeah. Homegrown fruits and vegetables, and great chefs eager to use them. No. I can't proceed any further. I just wanted the, the loot. Okay. Maybe over here? I love them, but they're scary. It's easy to get food poisoning from them if they're not fresh. Oh, I haven't heard that before. Shrimp I've at least had before. And I don't mind it, but it did take me a while to start eating shrimp. I just really struggle with seafood in general. And I do feel bad about that. I've been trying. I keep trying with seafood. I guess it's in the mountain somewhere. So we just gotta go. Oh, there it is. the bounds of battle right now. How am I supposed to... I pushed him way too One far. That'll do. I'm not dead. You ready to head back? You ate your first raw oyster at the age of two? Damn. That's metal as fuck. I wish I was introduced to seafood at a younger age. It's easier when you are, you know, you grow up with it. 
My mom never did. My body's a temple, my muscles it took me a long time oh, to even start cloud. eating salmon. Now I don't mind salmon. You two took care of our little but that's like a basic Bravo. bitch thing to start Can't eating the seafood, and I, it took me now a while we can for get that. that to training being free. Excuse me. Sorry to butt in, but you wouldn't happen to be the one who beat these guys in a pull-up contest. Oh, that Would is you? so me, girl. That uh, is so me. Watch it, rookie. Don't badmouth us. But that's how it went down, right? You're Tifa, right? After I heard how you crushed it, I knew I had to join the gym. You're the reason I'm here. Oh, wow. And I'm not your only fan. Look, all of us signed up because we wanted to be just like you. It's just as she says. Thanks to you, our female membership has absolutely skyrocketed. Needless to say, we're very grateful. I didn't really do anything. Are you kidding me? You're literally my inspiration! <laughs> Which is why I, uh... I want to challenge you to a sit-up contest! Alright. Uh, right now? So you know, Amina's been training to achieve your look, Tifa. You'd be helping her measure her progress. Let me sweeten the deal. If your abs prove superior, I'll add a bonus to your reward. Oh, my abs are enough. superior. Okay, am I gonna suck at this? Because I feel like I am. Okay. I, I can do this. Yeah. Easy on me, okay? Don't you ever get sore? It's almost like your muscles are sick. Oh, come on. Tifa, come on. Go, Tifa, go. That was perfect. <laughs> You're killing it! Oh, I have to keep to going, okay. Incredible form! Now's your chance to oh. I'm so bad, I'm so bad! <laughs> Having a hard time? It's fine. Just like that! I'm at a loss for words. Yeah, keep it up. Where'd that come from? Wow. We gotta do this again sometime. Yeah, let's, uh, we can, we're, we're fine. I'm so pumped. It's almost like your muscles are singing. Steady now. What? I pressed it. Beautiful. You're killing it. <laughs> Show up. Just like that. Truly incredible. You're killing it! Incredible form! It's almost like your muscles are singing! You're both so stunning! Don't you ever get sore? The haptics are yeah, getting stronger when you're on the controller, eh? Beautiful! It. No! The tie? Where'd that come from? 
truly incredible. <clears throat> Just like that. <clears throat> Don't you ever get sore? <clears throat> <clears throat> that was perfect. <clears throat> incredible form. <clears throat> It's almost like your muscles are singing! I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> so, uh, you're killing it! Truly incredible! What? Why? Now, Amina, you got her! Yeah, keep it up. Wow. We got to do this again sometime. I'm starting to really hate Amina. Don't go easy on me, okay? Yeah, I've been going easy on her, that's why. Don't you ever get sore? It's almost like your muscles are singing! That was perfect. Just like that! Where'd that come from? Beautiful! Looking good! Let me see you sweat! Someone's been I... slacking off! What? Maybe I'm not, I'm not pushing the full way down. I don't know. Man. Yeah, keep it up. Uh. You're both so stunning. <laughs> Incredible form. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> You're killing it. <laughs> Truly incredible. <laughs> Woo! You are in the zone. Okay, I won. Jesus Christ, I never want to do that again. You really are on a whole other level. Still got room to grow. Yeah, we got room to grow, all right. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you've got abs of adamantite. Thanks a lot. You put up a good fight, though. Like I said, you're an inspiration to me, to all of us. Amino acid? Nobody's born with a beautiful physique like yours. I can tell you poured gallons of blood, sweat, and tears into your training. Honestly, I... Sorry. Thank you. Yeah. Glad I could help. Oh my god, if Tifa well, was gonna actually, say, like, yeah, I, I don't do anything. That, if it's not too much to ask, would you, Tifa, be my muscle mentor? Me? Really? I don't know. By all means, you have my blessing. If you don't Thank mind you, dropping by from time to time, I'm sure she'd benefit from your advice. Might as well. If that's what you want, then I'll back you up. Oh my gosh, thanks, coach! <laughs> <laughs> Muscle mentor. Has a nice ring to it. Here Muscle you mentor. Go, Your extermination fee. And is promised a little extra for helping her out. Come back whenever you want to pump some iron. You're always welcome. Okay. Quest complete. I'm doing the main plot now. Bye. Don't you dare quit on me. Pick up the pace, vascular system. All right. It's been an hour. I think we are about due for main plot. How about that? Let's go. We got to get to Mount Corral. All right. Let me save. Uh, save in which one? Let's do this one. Where's our golden wig? We don't get it. Alright, get changed. Sorry guys, the swimsuit wear is done. We're now boring. Alright, so Mount Corral. Out of service. So we've got to walk? 
hiking trail. We gotta hike. Be fine. Fresh air, nice view. The view ain't all that. Not unless you enjoy staring at ruined reactors. Right. You grew up around here, didn't you? <sighs> Let's get a move on. Hey, Cloud. Materia's like super condensed Mako or something, right? So? So? That means wherever we find Mako, we'll find Materia too. <laughs> All right. Yuffie, one over track two. mind. Let's go. You know, Yuffie. When you're part of a team, you can't just do whatever you feel like. What? So does that mean I gotta run everything by you first? Yep. So that's the game. Fine. Permission to sing, sir? What? Bro, I just want to pick up some Permission items. Permission to scratch my back, sir? Permission huh? to blow my nose, sir? Huh? Oh, so uh. Didn't get permission to yawn yet. Well, do I get permission or not? Sure. You can do it while you're warming the bench. That's an abuse of power. Tyrant. Tyrant! Tifa, tell me your secret. <laughs> How'd you put up with this jerk face? <laughs> His good qualities outweigh the bad. <laughs> I know that was a glitch, but the timing of it was so perfect, too, because Yuffie was like... I, I, Barrett was, like, frustrated with Yuffie. So the timing of the glitch was just... <laughs> yeah, by how much? Like 51% good guy to 49% jerk face? Maybe a little more than that. So what, like a 55-45 split? Close to. Not you too, Tifa. Oh, that glitch was amazing. Did they intentionally make Yuffie an annoying character? This is Yuffie's character. I think Aerith might She's not any different than the original. Sorry. My legs are killing me. Oh! <sighs> Aerith. Let's rest here. But if we stop now, the materia... I mean, the mystery men might slip away. Hey, I know what to do. I'll go on ahead and scout the area for us. You guys can catch up later. Well, see ya. <laughs> Catch up later, my ass. <laughs> <sighs> Think I'd better go keep an eye on them. Barrett's not himself right now, you know? I know. Take your time, okay? No need to rush. Thanks. Will do. Aerith ain't used to this, man. The music! A wizard rod. Perfect. That's what I want to see. Oh, my healing materia is maxed out. Hmm. What do I give? I have so much materia that I, I don't know what to do. Cleansing? I feel like I want to switch out the healing materia. I want to level up other materia. Just not sure what yet. Maybe gravity. Combat settings. Let's level up lustrous shield. Magic shield that keeps enemies at bay and stops projectiles. I. I love, I love the chemistry between like all of these characters. It's perfect. It's perfect. It feels great too.
But I would say, like, Yuffie in the original game I thought was kind of annoying. Um, but I still liked her, though. She wasn't the type of annoying that I couldn't stand. She's a fun kind of annoying. Eh, she can grate your gear sometimes, but it was it was manageable. I, at least I think so. All right, so I need other synergy skills so that I can hire my bonds. I need to focus on bonds. Let's see. Let's see. That's. 10 and 15. Ooh. But that's with Yuffie. Max MP up? Mm, feel like I should do that, yeah. Alright, Aerith. Fuck. The music is so great. What the hell? But yeah, I think that Yuffie actually is getting so good of treatment right now from from this remake. I don't want that, but I do want the synergy skill. Most of it's with Yuffie though. Except for that this guy up here. Ringmaster. Oh, that's with Aerith too. Wait, 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 wait. I want that. Can I remove? Give me a pack. You have no idea at all. Yeah, Yuffie is, uh, she's just meant to be fun. I don't know what to get rid of. Maybe wind current? I don't really... yeah. I want the synergy ability. Oh, I'm excited about Vincent. Don't bring him up! <laughs> don't do it! Don't do it! Too excited about Vincent. But we're not there yet for like a long time still. What the fuck is this thing? You're dead. What is this music? Disappointing. I got your number. That music was such a bop, what the fuck? Accidentally. Oh, this kind of like connects. Maybe that's like the long way around? I don't want to miss anything. Why do I feel like go that way? Anything. Won't take long. Oh. Go on. You ready? I'm coming. We'll make it quick. This one's for you. This'll keep him away. Okay. 
So long. Just like that, okay? Why is the music going off so hard? What the fuck? Go on! Too bad. Deal with that. So it's my turn? <laughs> One more shot! How about you back off? Go on! That's it! This one's for you! This'll keep him away! You'll see. That's that. One more shot! How about you back off? How about you back it's off? Not all that's enough. <laughs> no, not bad. After you experience Machinima, abridged, I mean, uh, you can't see the same ray, uh, same re see red the same way. I, oh my god. He's so funny in the abridged series. I think one of my favorite scenes in the abridged series in general is whenever Barrett meets Red. And he's like, I have a talking dog best friend. Like that monologue that they have in the jail cell in Shinra. Peak. We'll get to that episode eventually. That'll do. You gotta be careful. I guess I'm, I'm not very good at using him. Right. Like that. I don't. I don't block. I just try to evade. <laughs> this one's for you. Damn it! I was really hoping I could pray at the end of that. I can smell the cosmos. Yeah. What is this? Frankenstein? What? It looks like a. Frankenstein head. Pointing in this direction. What was your party comp from the OG? My party comp was... Red and Aerith until Aerith went away. And then I replaced Aerith with Vincent. So it was always Red and Vincent. I'm sorry. Even though, like, I, I literally hated having Vincent in my party, I'm not gonna lie. He's so hard to use in combat because of his ability. <sighs> He's kind of a pain in the ass, so I'm curious at how they do his limit break in particular. But, um, I still kept Vincent in my party at all times. I did play as Yuffie off stream yesterday. It was actually really, really fun. I enjoyed her combat a lot. Guess I gotta. Allow me. <laughs> What is the structure? 
Am I supposed to go this way or that way? Or... Oh boy. I have it. I won't give up. You're done. That's it. And we're safe. Oh, this is a cave. <gasps> Materia. What is it? God, fuck you. It's because he's hot, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, absolutely. He was my first video game crush. I will always remember Vincent. He really was my first game crush. It's kind of crazy to think about. I think more than anything, it was Advent Children that really solidified it for me. At, like, watching Advent Children as a kid. Holy hell. I, I fell for Vincent way harder. I already loved him in the game. And then you watch Advent Children and you're like, oh shit. I really love this man. Going in. What the hell? What does this mean? Oh! I thought it was Frankenstein, it's Barrett and Yuffie. They had the time to paint on these rocks. I just called Barrett Frankenstein. I didn't understand what I was looking at. I fear your luck's run out. Don't tell Barrett I said that. <laughs> Nothing to it. Did he do anything in the movie? Yeah, he saved Cloud whenever he went to go save the children in the white forest. Vincent quite literally comes in to swoop in and save the day. He literally, quite literally, Vincent sweeps Cloud off of his feet. And if that's not romantic, I don't know what the fuck is. Cloud's okay. Don't worry about him. He's a soldier, first class. Watch, I'm using this item and there's gonna be like a, a bench coming up soon or something. Is this the way? Oh, they're both the way. Okay.
The music for this area is absolutely unnecessary. Wait, I could have went up this way? I could have skipped going all the way around. I guess this is for speedrunners. Speedrunners rejoice. Barrett went up this way. Right next to the area that, that you can, you can, I could go up this wall. Oh, uh, wait, is that my only way to go? Oh, damn. I guess that is the only way to go. You still holding up okay? Yeah, feeling great actually. Could do this all day. Could you? It's like, it's like someone's pulling me up. You've become one with the mountain. Say what? Really? I did? Hey! Thanks for having me! The hell are you doing, Red? Relax, it happens to all new climbers. If she passes out, I'll get her. Oh, oh! Red! Red! And we're safe. All the extra stuff in this game, peak, absolute peak. You spotted a chalk drawing, Luffy. Luffy. Yuffie left for you. I've spotted the other ones, don't worry. All right, what's the map looking like here? Going back, that's what we're doing. Oh, the rail car. That's a far way down. Imagine, uh, you also the image of Barrett begrudgingly handing over the chalk from his pocket or something because Yuffie won't stop pestering him. It's too good. I feel like there's a lot of situations that work here. And it's hilarious no matter what. Oh, I could have gone this way. I thought I had to go up the stairs. You know what? I should never listen to the chalk. The chalk is always wrong. is quite the ladder. Yes, I got it. That'll do. Gotta be careful. So bad. Cloud dying? Nothing nothing new here. Me dodging and blocking stuff? Nah, why would I do that? Uh yeah. oh, this is take it from here. Here goes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Come on. Busy? Can you take over for me? Okay. That'll do. Going in. 
You're done, so we got that. Material level up! Hey! Nice, I've Kiraga now. And you know what? Even having a maximum I healing you, material now? Oh, there's a person? No manners. You greet each other, it's proper. Wait, there are people that. Uh, I tell Hello? you, hikers these days ain't got no manners. You greet each other, it's proper. Anyway, I was gonna say, even with the maximum healing materia, I'm still gonna die a lot. Uh, well, I'll be. Finally, folks who've got some manners. I don't get it. Tons of folks hiking up the mountain today, and not a one of them so much as nodded my way. Even try calling out to a few sick looking fellas all in black, and what did I get? Silence. Silence. Uh, I guess these days never learned to greet each other or something. Dude, that's so rude. You know what? That actually was a rude awakening. Not a rude awakening. I guess a welcome awakening. It kind of gave me a little bit of culture shock. When I moved to Canada, I was very not used to. Because I, I guess it depends on where you live in the States. But wherever, everywhere I've ever been in the States. It's like people are very enclosed. People don't talk to each other. If you see someone on the sidewalk... You don't really acknowledge their existence, but ever since I like moved to Canada, Dom used to yell at me. Actually, he's like, "Why didn't you smile at the person that walked pa walked past you?" Or like, "Why didn't you wave, say hi?" I was like, "I don't know. Never did that before. Like, it's normal to just like ignore people's existence." Um, and it's actually I've gotten used to it here. I still have a. It's like 50-50. Sometimes I'll ignore a person and sometimes I'll acknowledge and say hi and wave and stuff. But definitely very different. Oh, there's another one. Why do they look sad? They're crying! No, I moved to Canada for him. But yeah, so in the, in the States... What are those things? Magna Drana, that's a new one. But yeah, the states, I always had that experience. Alright, we need to accept these guys. Just do it right. Everyone here is so much more friendly and talks to each other. Six legged carnivorous creatures, okay. And perverse physical attacks from the rear. During subdue, okay. That's it. Well, I I tried to do it. it did, that did Push that did not it. work. So it's my turn. Get ready. Get ready. Here. Go on. I'm used to randomly talking to people forever. Really? No. The only place I've ever been living around people that were really friendly and with each other was uh, where my grandma lives in, like, Florida. She lives on, uh, well, one of the key islands. And everyone in her community just says hi to each other. It's because it's a small community, so everyone knows each other and you're, they're friendly with each other and stuff. But yeah, I've never been anywhere else, though. That, like, was very friendly. That'll do. Ow. Okay, so loud. Keep it together. We've got to get through this. Oh, that really sucks. He's dead. Sorry, but... Ready when you are. It's payback. I'll make it quick. It all comes down to this. 
Watch this. One more shot. Small wonder if you want. When they came up, they were like, does anyone actually talk to people? No, I feel like in most areas of the US, people are very self-contained. I don't know why. <clears throat> Florida is pretty friendly, despite what people may think. Yeah, I'd say like every time I've been to visit my grandma or anywhere that I've been in Florida in particular, people, that's like the area I've been to the most in the states that I felt like had the most people that acknowledged your existence, but everywhere else. I've never been anywhere else in the states that I felt like people acknowledged me. Why is there this music for this section of the game? Why? Are you sure you want to fight? Pushing it. You're Aerith, you judge me. I think I'm gonna die. Okay. Bitch, you would be right. And there he goes. There he You'll goes. see. You who? Go on. Why don't you lead the way? I'll take care of you. Only the strong survive. Do you bump into many streamers that do? I think it's pretty common because, like, Florida is an old people state. Like, my grandma was not... Most people I know were not born and raised in Florida. Most people I know moved to Florida in retirement because that's what a lot of old people do. You get older and you retire and live the rest of your life in Florida. That's like the majority of people that live in Florida. So that's why I feel like a lot of people have older relatives that are there. Because it's a very, very common retirement destination. One of Shinra's. Uh oh. Think the others are okay? We'll see. Shinra! Been a hot minute. You'll move the game across the media. Take the lead. You ready? I'm coming! My back's over. Florida is all I've ever known. Have you traveled much, Dynasty? Now Tifa's in the drawings! Oh. Now they include Tifa. Why, why didn't she include Tifa before? We get intentions. Uh, uh, when we got intentions, uh, but I also heard that we're just too cold and people in Canada are way more friendly. Yes, people in Canada are way more friendly. That is very, very true. In a lot of ways. It still astounds me. I noticed such a big difference living here. When I lived in Canada, I made a Latina friend. I'm from Spain, and we greeted by hugging in public. Everyone was convinced that we were a couple. Aww. A lot of people I meet for the first time, I do give a hug as a greeting. Like, even people that have met me at conventions. I do appreciate it when people ask, but normally, you know, I'm very thankful, so I do try to give a uh, nice, friendly hug gesture. I feel like, I don't know, every culture is so different with how you introduce people. I remember um, whenever I first moved here to Canada and I met Dom's family, a very French, I don't know if it's, well, it is French, but I don't know what other European countries do this as well. But like the kissing on the cheek to greet somebody to say hi. Like, oh, hi, mwah, mwah. And I'm like, I never grew up with that. So I thought it was so weird the first time, like, his parents did that to me. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, whoa, my bubble. <laughs> my fucking bubble, dude.
I've just never moved? Okay. Well, I mean, you don't need to move necessarily either. Wait, all cores reset? No, I wanted to do the just the one. Ah, uh, I thought I was doing one of the cores. Mostly with people we haven't seen in a while. Oh. I'm, uh, that was my first uh, introduction with meeting Dom's, Dom's parents. It really, really caught me off guard. Zitifa. I do want this one. It's just bodyguard, but uh, Aerith has the same thing. I don't know. Uh, I would like this one. Meh. Oh yeah, Yuffie exists. Uh, you know what? We're fine. You could use a vacation right now? Aww. Do you want to know when the next vacation you're taking is? Oh boy. Come on. Out you go. Where, they're just dumping them out here? Again? Well, look who it is. <laughs> you here to pick a fight? Oh, Cloud. What? Oh, <laughs> no. Just dropping off some unruly passengers. They were fine when we left Junon, and then they weren't. So, here we are. Don't know why. One minute they were okay, and the next... Eh, whatever. This is way above my pay grade. <laughs> She's so, such a mood! That's it? Well, since you're here... We gotta assess, man. Too bad. Yes! FanFest fan fest was one of the best experiences I've ever had. You need to go. Anybody who's an FF14 fan, you need to go to FanFest. Pooling protocol. Okay. <laughs> Go for it, guys!
There we go. Elena, we know about your secret while listening to you in the bar sheer face. Slash me Thank you for the hundred. Okay, Cloud's fine. Don't worry about him. Wait, seriously? I, I, I really went too hard, though. That was my fault. Okay, up and out. You can do it. Ready, yeah. Laura. I'll take care of him. After you, follow my lead. Watch this. That was a mess. Nowhere, will you? Get him! Not enough? <laughs> <laughs> I definitely want to get this stuff rolling here, but you're up. <laughs> With me. Ready, but be careful. I should probably heal up first. Okay, this is fine. We're just a little bit fucked. But no, we're we're okay. We're okay. <laughs> Don't over Yeah, we're fine. I'm really getting my ass whooped full of shit. Now's our chance. Right. <laughs> Deal with that. Come on, you can do it. Okay, Cloud. Oh, it's not doing it anymore. That was really good. Ascension! Hmm. I'll just do it. That's Let's it. dance, take them down. Make the most I of it. I should them. probably heal up first. This one's for you! Get ready! Yoo-hoo! I need to heal. I'm gonna fucking die. I'm dead. No, no, no. Taking over. She's dead. Okay. A little early in the game, but. You okay? I'll take it from here. You need a I'm wide awake right now. Keep it together. Sure. However, I <laughs> All right. Yo, we're fine. Don't worry about it. Don't, don't worry. Let's finish this. After you. Sorry, but you I should probably heal up first. Yeah. Oh god. Need to heal up. Wait, why did it not go? I tried to use the Phoenix down. You okay? I'll I'll do what I can. All right. No, I tried to dodge. Not carried away. You can do it, can you? Aerith, no, she has her limit break. She literally has her limit break. No, 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 I need that limit break. Nah, 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 nah. Be careful. <sighs> Need a breather. Hope is not yet lost. Go, Aerith, go. Healing wind. Oh no, what's planet's protection? Nullify physical damage to all party points. Okay, I can't. I can't, sweetie. I need to heal so bad. Fight through it. Okay, now we can turn the tides. Let's get a summon on here. Oh my god. Do your thing. I'm clutching this so fucking hard. Don't overdo it. Here goes. You'll see. 
My turn. It's on you. Ready when you go for it. Take the lead. So it's my turn? Cut! You'll see. Okay. That's it! Why do you need Hang back. Okay, uh, I don't know if I can get a stagger in right now. We don't have enough synergy for, like, everybody right now. Um, what to do, 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 what to do. Hold front, that's a ice. You can do it. Let's do this. Yeah, we're gonna be fine. There we go. Let's finish this. Get ready. It's over. That'll do it. Keep it up. It's over. Hold on up now. Ready or not, here I come. Yoo-hoo! Can you take over? Take it over. Don't overdo it. I'm coming! Tagging out! I got this. Okay, Eric, I'm, I'm gonna need you to, like, save our asses, because I'm bad. Okay? Okay, sweetie? Okay, that's the thing. Alright, Titan, can you kill this thing? I'm really struggling. Pay you back. It's not dead. Okay. Somehow, like six We're Phoenix done. Downs later, I, I killed it. First try, though. Oh, that was a nice shot. What a team! Guess the Turks are back on duty, huh? Wish they'd all go on vacation. For real. For Come real? On. We need to find the others. <sighs> the next order of business is the Magnus Materia project. As you are aware, Simultaneous energy spikes were detected in Mako reactors across the world. Me, Gongaga! data from each site, we found the spikes stemmed from the arrival of visitors. Unfathomably large life forms. Oh, is that a weapon? Based on available information, it would seem so. They supposedly appear when the planet is in danger. And each one carries an enormous orb of materia. More specifically, an orb from which they themselves were born. They are living enigmas. Organisms dying to be understood. And finally, my dream of capturing one is within reach. <laughs> oh, what I wouldn't give to peel one's flesh back, pull it apart, and see what makes it tick. Hmm? What? Your wish, Professor, will soon be granted. We'll all get what we want once that materia is ours. This is ridiculous. Why waste time monster hunting when we're on the brink of creating the materia ourselves? I'm aware of your efforts, but it would behoove us to obtain naturally occurring specimens as well. Well, they would look good in the lobby. <laughs> <laughs> That's the concern here. They look good in the lobby. Put them in the bathroom for all I care. Just leave me the carcasses. Those I'll take. God, I cannot Mr. wait for President, Scarlet please. versus Tifa. What is this really about? Wu Tai is after them. Well, talk about burying the lead. Heidegger, I'll need troops. My finest for the Madam Director. 
<laughs> Mr. President. Yes? There's a question I never had the chance to ask your father. Perhaps you could speak on his behalf. Hmm. We used Avalanche's activities as a cover to sabotage our own reactors and destroy Sector 7. Your father assured us these acts were in service to the Neo Midgar project. However, the fact remains that we have yet to locate the promised land of legend or even confirm if it actually exists. Reeve, the only one with a conscience. Great though he was, my father was old. And in his dotage, he became rash. But while we're on the subject, there's something I've been meaning to ask all of you regarding those decisions. Why is it that none of you even tried to stop him? <sighs> Shinra must change. We must break new ground, grow stronger, smarter, observe, adapt, expand, control. My father built his empire with your loyal support, and I demand the same. I expect you all to prove that you are devoted not only to the company, but to me. Where is he? Yeah? Let me in. No, this is gameplay. No. Oh, this is gonna fuck me up, man. What the hell? What's going on? This is the menu. This is all you get. God, fuck you. Elmira? What the hell? Zack, right? Yeah. Where is she? Upstairs. Oh my god. This is so confusing. What happened to the holy materia? It dropped whenever he picked her up, though. Did he get it? Oh, there it is. It's on the table. I'm That's the real holy home. materia. Why? Oh, my. Now, How are we going to get that? I've been to your place. Shinra's got it staked out. Not anymore. They have bigger things to worry about. But. And I can't leave her with you. Of course you can. Just look at Cloud. I've been taking care of- No, you haven't. Look at the state you've left her in. You didn't even wipe her face, for goodness sake. I'm sorry. Your note had me worried, and now that I'm here, I can see that I was right to be concerned. I brought a wheelchair for Aerith. But if Cloud's coming too, you'll just have to carry him. Think you can handle that? Yeah, I can do that much. That's Aerith's, uh... Yes, I know. What is going on? She okay? You're okay. Eric right, with Aerith? her hair down is the greatest thing to come out of this game. Mm. If 
feels like there's so many parallels here that are so weird. I know Zack did this for Cloud, but Cloud also did this for Zack, and also the wheelchair. I can only imagine, like, the hey, scene in Elmira. the original game that yes. has Cloud in the wheelchair, that what whole section. What happened to this place? The world's ending. At least, that's what everyone's saying. They have to cross, cross paths at some point now because of that holy materia. Like, that holy materia is the game. Damn, dude. How is this gonna... Harry. Hey, which way do you think Midgar is? It would be east of here. That way. I wonder how my mom's doing back there. She seemed fine when I saw her. Maybe a little worried. She's gonna hate me for this. Talk to her as soon as you get home. She'll understand. Really looking forward to that conversation. Hmm. What's going on? I don't know what's going on, dude. <laughs> okay, give me- I just need to fix my lighting. It's very bright outside today. <sighs> I don't understand. I don't understand. Two different things going on at the same time. But I'm just curious at what made the holy materia unusable in this timeline. In this, like, what we consider to be the true timeline, because this is the original game's story, what we're playing right now. <sighs> but why did the materia lose its luster? Me fighting. Sorry, we're late. You okay? Yep. Really worked up a sweat. So, how'd recon go? All clear. No nasty surprises and no materia. <laughs> we managed to catch her before she could get as far as the reactor. Which is the whole reason we're here. So, hurry it up, or those hooded guys will beat us to it. so confused I'm just trying to think about that whole scenario dude Yuffie Tifa and Barrett could have watched that whole battle from like up here they knew it was happening and they just didn't run down to help it's a little awkward that's it the Corel reactor damn <laughs> hey so what's the deal with all these creepy hooded guys anyway they're Shinra's victims. <sighs> well, they're in good company. I'll give them that. Hmm? How you figure? 
When Shinra invaded Wutai, it was... pretty bad. They leveled towns, killed thousands. And when the dust settled, they forced some BS truce on us. I thought both sides wanted a ceasefire. <sighs> the old geezers at the top did, yeah. But the rest of us were pissed. They'd been running Wutai into the ground for years. It was the last straw. We were done. Everyone was ready to kick those old farts to the curb. And that's when Colonel Lodbrock's team showed up. Three ex-soldiers ready to join the cause. Who'd you say? Lodbrock! His squad saved Wutai from those senile old fossils. Paved the way forward. They didn't do it alone, though. While the Colonel's crew was rallying the people, their friend Viceroy Saruf agreed to help. Then, bam! Revolution! And that is how the interim government was born. Revolution, huh? Y'all did good. <laughs> but why the interim? Because once this war with Shinra's behind us, the whole country is going to come together and decide what kind of government we want. Which is why we're doing everything we can to make sure the interim ends in independence. Pretty cool, right? I love those little flashback scenes here. Just gonna stand those there? Those are scenes Let's from Integrate, I'm think like, I think. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I remember Integrate very little, but I think those are the Integrate scenes that are just, like, popping up here and there. Rogue men continue to be fought. Okay. Holy hell. Of this is crazy. Hey, come look at this. Follow Yuffie. <laughs> Don't continue. Okay. All right, Yuffie. So, like, all that stuff down there is Mako? Yep. Then it's got to be hiding some ginormous materia. Oh, I'm gonna be so powerful, it's scary. Set only to appear when the planet is in grave danger. Hojo has sought them for years. Did you see what was inside it? That had to have been the biggest freaking materia ever! Just gotta figure out how to catch that overgrown fish. That guardian of the planet? Whatever. I'm not about to let a materia that beautiful get away. And just so we're clear, Red is gonna not, have a. I called it! Some words cool. for you, V. You fish. We'll keep moving. Hey, not cool. No, you're not cool, Yuffie. This isn't goodbye, sweet weapon. I'll be back for you soon. <laughs> A guardian beast like that wouldn't show up unless Shinra had really pushed the planet to the edge. Meaning. Avalanche was right about the threat they posed all along. We were, weren't we? Yeah. But don't forget, Shinra is not the only problem. Right. Sephiroth is still out there. It's really cool to see, he like, is. uh. And talking won't stop him. 
see the weapon. I don't think in the original you see the weapon this early. That's cool to just like get a glimpse of it here. It's very, very cool. I like that extra little thing. Hmm. Babysitting, it's hard for Cloud. Uh, not gonna lie, Yuffie was kind of annoying there. I think they're pushing the Materia collector part of her character a bit too hard right now. It's the only crit- it's like the first criticism I've had. It's a- it's a bit over the top. Like, yeah, Yuffie, we get it. <laughs> you like Materia. Oh, does somebody have an ego in chat? Sorry, I'm not really paying attention. The coal mines. Fast travel is now available? Wait, really? Oh, why? They're gone already. No You're done. This one's for you. No time to waste. So now the question is, do I have access to the other side of the map? Because that's all I care about here. I want to explore the other side of the map. Actually, no. I don't think I'm there still. Ugh, dead end? For now. Can't cross till we lower it. Well, this sucks. What? You know this area, don't you? <clears throat> Control room's up there, at the top of the cliff. How do we reach it? Through the mine. Won't be a walk in the park, though. Place has been abandoned for years. Working on it. Just wait a minute. God, this is so fucked. Hey, Cloud. Uh. Come on. Uh. Perhaps the Mako got to him. Regardless, he's clearly tired. Cloud could rest here while a couple of us go and lower the bridge, yeah? <sighs> Works for me. When that thing rings, you'll know we're done. And you, don't move till you're good and ready. All right, put on your mining helmets and follow me. Okay, I guess I'm Yuffie. You go, we got him. Our black-clad friends mean to swim across the river, but I see no reason not to use the bridge. Our black-clad friends mean to swim across the river. I'll be okay, just give me a minute. Okay, Cloud, I believe you, I think. What is this? Is that a folio machine? An old communication device. Okay. I didn't exactly want to go up here either. I think I missed something, but... Ha! 
Yuffie gameplay. Wow, look at me be a ninja. You won't regret this! Get lost! <laughs> Does it get resolved why Cloud is having flashbacks of some sorts in the OG? Um, actually, that's a good question. Does it? Uh... Like, it's complicated. Cloud is complicated. It's like, he... All of his memories are uh, basically which way? Zach's. Uh, with that thing. But... We're gonna have to power it on first. Um, so that's like his flashbacks he would always have were just from the point of view of Zack. The generator's just across the way. Gotta use that grappling hook. Shouldn't but be a yeah. problem for He you also right. does that a lot in um, Advent Children. Not at all. That happens to Cloud a lot in Advent Children. It's just he has like a... Is it a reaction to Sephiroth or Genova? It might be both because one and the same. Sephiroth is Genova, but like, uh, I think it's just whenever he, I think the explanation from my understanding is that whenever Cloud is around Mako, it kind of causes like this reaction in him. It's Mako. So if he's around like a heavy amount of it, because that's what caused him to be fucked up. Uh. And that's why it, he has a reaction to Sephiroth, because that's basically what Sephiroth is. And that's what Genova is as well. Uh, so it's just like a high concentration of Mako just has makes Cloud have these reactions and these flashbacks. So I think that's the gist of it, from my understanding. I always got confused by Cloud a little bit. <laughs> Playing this as a kid, he kind of fucked me up. I want to make sure I don't miss anything before I swing across them. Yeah, that's like a Gen no, Genova was used to create Sephiroth. Yeah, that's why they're one and the same. That's why he has these reactions. Every time he sees a piece of Genova, he sees Sephiroth in it all the time. That's just uh, part of part of the infusion. Okay, so I have to do the generator and the... Okay. But I pressed L2. Okay. <sighs> yeah, no problem. I, uh, like... Yeah, no, I don't mind talking about the original. Um, it's just always been a little bit complicated to me. The Sephiroth we meet is Genova. It's like they're... It's like if you took the original... Oh! Here's a great example of how to describe Sephiroth. So you take Sephiroth and you put him in like a shaker, you know, like a, you know, bartender shaker. You put him in a human-sized shaker and you fill that shaker with Mako. No, sorry, not Mako, Genova cells. And then you just go Sephiroth. <laughs> Ta-da! I like that image. Like a 
Sephiroth smoothie. Yeah, so he's like blended with Genova. It's like it's you know it's like a, it's a little blend. Got a sip of that smoothie. Uh, <laughs> got a sip. <laughs> sure. Oh, it lowered a ladder. Okay. Sephiroth always been evil or meant to be from the start? No, no, no. Um, I mean, that's how this game starts out, if you play Rebirth, the first, like, three hours of the game. Sephiroth was normal. He was a normal soldier. Well, he, he thought he was a normal soldier <laughs> until he realized what happened to him, like, how he was created, and it makes him go crazy. Someone to unlock this thing from the control unit upstairs. Can you? Bam. <sighs> if I have to. Wait, but that's the way back. I want to get over there. Wait, how? There's a ladder on the opposite side. But I, I see the chest and... Uh, there's nothing... Oh! It's after you cross the bridge, I think. No? No. Wait, why did I go this way? Why? Oh! Up there! Oh! Okay. Did I just do that so that I could do it in the other direction? Okay. <laughs> Nobody is okay in this game. <laughs> Nobody is okay. Like, yeah, so uh, Sephiroth was just like a... Well, he was a first-class soldier, so he was the world's most famous, normal, real good soldier. That's, that's how Sephiroth was for a while. Okay, can I just... So I need to go from hook to hook. I need to not suffer this. So can I just jump from this hook to the next hook? Yes, okay, that's how they do it. There we go. But I thought I was supposed to unlock something. JK. What, use the grappling hook to scale the wall? Huh? I can... What? Oh, so I need to go... I'm just... I'm just... Okay. This is fine. <sighs> they want me to go that way. Wait, no, 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 no! I see... Let's 
Sorry, I don't know if I finished my thought earlier, but yeah. Anyway, Sephiroth was Think you can take the world's me? best soldier. He still is. He just kind of, you know. Just he found out what he was, and then he just decided to uh, rebel against Shinra. Out. Which, I mean, do you really blame Not Sephiroth now. for doing that? At this point in the game, you don't know Sephiroth's goal, but technically it's... I mean, he's just... Uh, he wants to destroy Shinra and the whole planet. So that's where he takes it a step too far, but... Hey, technically he wants the same thing as us, like fuck Shinra, right? Wait, is this point- oh, I was supposed to click this. my team back. Sephiroth can drop his meteor on me any day. Oh, okay. Your weapon hit an obstacle? You don't have to worry about spoiling the original here. We talk about it a lot. Oh! <laughs> wait, no, 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 what's... I just... I don't... Wait, I didn't want to go down. Why we... Yeah. Anyway, I talk about the original a lot. This is not a spoiler-free stream in terms of the original game. It is, however, don't say anything about how this game changes things, obviously. That's the fun part for me, but yeah, I, I played the original a lot, so I like to talk about it a lot. Don't worry about it. talking about it. It's a lot of items! It's a slow Friday and I had too much caffeine this morning. You wanna send some over my way? Actually, you kinda make me want wine. It's been a hot minute. Is there anything this way? Okay, yeah, that's the way to go. Let's down this ladder. Oh, is this the other side? I'm the one starting it. I don't mind it, as long as you guys are having fun. Check this shit Get out! Lost. on a roll. Oh! Oh! 
Oh, it's under combat percentage. Me. I'm thinking legendary. By too fast. I do not like it. Sephiroth just does that. Oh, the way Yuffie sits down on the bench. I want to go back up. I did. I did not want to do that. Oh boy! Can this elevator take me back up, please? Bang, bang. A cough! Got you now. Chow, let me your strength. How you like this? I'm unstoppable. Never help me out. Just Too easy. Got you now. Ready for a smackdown? Big head threat. Bear, Bear going back. Come on. Run like a chocobo. Run like a chocobo. Bear, come on. Get lost. Cock a doodle kick. Gotcha. Too bad. So sad. Never help me out. Bring it. You're going down. Got you now. Let's shake things up. Here I go. Got you now. Lend me your strength to kick Come some butt. Get yeah. I think I'm all warmed up. Nice. Where am I going? I don't know what I'm doing, where I'm going. I, I want to go back. I want to go up the stairs. I don't know which way's forward, which way's backward. I'm I'm just... I, I'm, I'm lost. Get lost! <laughs> Oh, can't fault him for trying. Oh, this is a dead end. Oh, I love that. Thank you, Gideon. Oh, finally a new Barrett weapon. Oh, he still doesn't have an accessory. Ah, uh, ha, ha. Barrett, I do love you, I swear to God. Oh my God, he's still living off the leather bangle. This is fine. Oh, Yuffie does have a sess. I only now just saw it. I don't know what I'm doing, by the way. No idea.
Yeah, I'm sorry. I haven't used Barret much. I Actually, I did use Barret quite a bit in combat, but I never upgraded his equipment. And that is my bad. I hope this is a dead end. You got this? You even have to ask? I'm slowly turning it, okay? Finally. It took a minute, but we did it. There is so much fluff in this section. I was just expecting to go to the, the fucking Mount Corral, get Barrett backstory, go to Gold Saucer, but nah. This is a whole ass section, just like the cave, man. Yeah, I have no idea what's happening, but I'm assuming that you guys are having a very educational conversation. I know y'all are having an educational conversation. This is where I accidentally jumped down too early and I didn't want to. But I want to go up there. Nice bush. It's gated. What do you want me to do, mate? What? Oh. No problem. Get going. Be down. Be down. <laughs> Let's shake things up. You're going down. Education? What do you mean? Every single one of you do. Don't pretend like you don't.
There, there is something here and it's bothering me. Oh, it's up. Okay, well, well I want up. I got the ladder. Yes. Finally. All of this for this chest. Cool. Something I probably want to put. Alright, I got the loot. I'm happy. Now what? We're supposed to be going up, I think. <laughs> now that the generator is working. Oh. That's all. Fuck on this! Get going! Let's shake things up! I gotcha! Just come on! Got you now! How do you like Ready for a smackdown? It's over! Get wrecked! Got you now! Got you little! Ooh, I want to see the limit break. Bloodbath, go. Time to wreak some serious havoc. Oh, did I accidentally click a button? That's the way to do it. Damn, we've come a high way up. <laughs> I'm glad I'm getting more Phoenix Downs. I may or may not have fucked up a lot earlier and I, um, I, I could lose a restock. Did I really have to wait for the plot cutscene to do that? Oh, were there more? Wait, that's not it then. Oh, okay. Switches for the elevator and like the weird. Who built this place? They should be fired. <sighs> I'm going down a railing. Oh, I didn't even know. Oh, so I need to like swing into these crates to get them. Okay, this is cool.
you like changing up the main character segments. I like them too. This is quite nice. Oh, a bomb? self-destructed I didn't do good enough god damn it I thought I was doing good but okay game said no you didn't hey oh knows Gigatrice. <sighs> Damage in the air will pressure and force it to descend. Using elemental magic on the cyclones and conjures will imbue them with elemental energy. It will become pressured if, it, if hit by one of these enhanced clones. Oh, okay. Like 
ran into that. Did I not say fire and injury? The there we go. How do you like that? Come here, you big bully! Let's shake things up! Alright. This is my turn! I'm, I'm your one stop clobbering shop! I really do want to eat this thing though, it looks very tasty. Anybody? Okay, Barret, summon. Oh, Ifrit's like kind of weak, but. Ifrit's better than on. nothing, you know? Better than no summon at all. And it's a fire element, so like, AO! I think I die a little on the inside. Alright, y'all are gonna kill me, but like... I know the moment is intense, but I really gotta pee, okay? I've been chugging water today. Let me pee, okay? I'll be back.
I went as fast as I can, man. I went as fast as I can. I just really had to pee. Oh, now that's just cheating. Okay, let's try this uh, Tifa. So I'm supposed to make the tornado. Jumbo fried chickens on the market tonight, there. baby. Oh, perfect timing. Wait, I almost had it staggered though. What is going on, y'all? Thanks, y'all. <laughs> no, I just did the wrong. I meant to use focus shot. I just remembered. Here I go. Cyclone. So oh, we want Tifa to do her thing again. Side for the roasted chicken. Wait, this chicken? Okay, that's what you guys are talking about. You know what? I'm glad you guys are having a lot of fun. Just here. Watch yourself. Oh, God, I'm dumb. 
I think I'm just not. I'm trying to focus the cyclones. I know they said elemental energy Got on them. Bring it home. Oh, bring it. I did it successfully once. It's on you. Give them hell. Seriously? Give me a break. <laughs> It lets me uh, Watch yourself. Come on. You're target the tornado, and then s other times it doesn't let me target the tornado, so it's kind of frustrating. And now there's no target at all. Uh, I'm not understanding when I can't do it. I have so many synergy spells to activate. At this point, I feel like I should just do it. Use Cyclone's kick, even though it's not a staggered enemy. It's still gonna be powerful. Oh, now the tornado is attacking. Got it. The screaming again, no! Don't do that! break and it's dead and it's fancy. It's a fancy way to go. Out. All right. I have now delivered dinner to the chat. You're welcome. Take that minecart down. Save ourselves a hike. Not the smoothest ride, but it sure is fast. Me and Dine used to. <sighs> he said his name. Forget it. Let's just lower the bridge and get back to the others.
I'm fine. Lower the drawbridge first. Okay. Why? I don't need my comrades. Okay, one of these buttons ought to do it. But which one? Hmm. Yeah, I got this. Uh. First that, then. Now that the bridge we have is a good little go, friend. Let's touch he base just... with the others. Roger. He just hovers around Baron. <laughs> That's so cute. Hello, hello. This is Special Agent Yuffie. Can you read me, Commander Cloud? How you doing? Feeling better? I'm good. We'll take a cart back down. You three follow the tracks till you hit the bridge into town. Figure we link up there before heading in. You copy? Copy. Oh, That's not an emblem thing. While you're at it, I'm just you? huge. The gentler the ride, the better. Janky hitboxes, I love your username. Losing their lunch. I'm begging you, Cloud, please. I wouldn't mind some excitement, but what you gonna do? <laughs> Thank you for the tier one sub. I really appreciate it. That's not an emblem thing. I'm just huge. Oh, what the heck, dude? Janky, thank you so much for gifting five subs to the community. What's this, where'd this come from? Thank you. Thank you so much, dude. I really appreciate it. The music is back. We're back. We're so back. Gotta bow up because of spoilers, but got given love for all the laughy loos. Aw, dude, thank you so much for that. That is really generous. I hope you have a fantastic evening. Thank you. Giga Chad, first time in the chat. Subs, drops five gifted subs, leaves. Absolute Giga Chad material. <laughs> Oh, we have an emote for that. First message, Giga Chad, yes. Absolutely deserved. That'll do. No time to celebrate. I love this vibe so much. What the hell? I gotta stop playing soon, but I don't want to. That wasn't so bad. Like a job for Yuffie. Oh, this is just like the original, uh, like all of the train tracks you go up and down and shit and stuff. We should be able to switch the track here. Currently set to Barrett's preferred route. Well, I don't care about Barrett. Oh. Yuffie will approve this one? Oh. Well, I like Barrett more. 
Okay. Do you think the others are gonna be okay? These tracks seem about ready to fall apart. I have a feeling they'll hold for a while yet. You do? Of course. I'm standing on them, aren't I? Wait, we are? I've read We're about this. On. Cats and dogs can sense all kinds of stuff through their paws. Things our feet could never pick up on. Yeah, they're super sensitive. Your pads, right? Except that mine is far more than your pet. So, Red? No. I didn't even say anything. You didn't have to. You didn't have to say anything. Oh she wants to squeeze us to me. I want to squeeze his toe beans too. How about this? At the next inn, we treat you to a foot massage. Oh. A foot massage. Red is still not having it. This is wild. I remember this. Look at the train track up there. Oh, there's an enemy. That's it. Now. You're mine. Gotcha. Now, had enough? That'll do. One Now's our chance. Shot. This is it. Nowhere. Take this. Get him. Watch this. Not bad. A lightning imp uh, material improved. This looks like the spot. Let's call him up. Tell him we're here. But I want to go across the bridge. Cloud, what's our route looking like? Do what I could. Should be fine. Are you sure? Like, really sure? Really sure. <laughs> Thanks for that. Sit tight. We'll be down soon. Only way out is through. So buckle up, Buttercup. Oh, this is why it was locked. I use this to ride down. Let's go. It's fine. It's just a cart. It can't kill you. Mm. Jogobo for some reason with us now. Oh no. Okay. doesn't move that fast. I will admit, I think this is better than the original. 
Again. This part was kind of a slog in the OG. Going up and down the tracks. It was a little, it was a little annoying. I missed every single one of those boxes. This is fun. I hate you, Cloud! Barrett's preferred side. I love how Tifa and Barrett just do not care. I would be freaking the fuck out. Like, I do not blame you for here. I did excellent, dude. I feel like I did shit. You feel you okay? Fine. I'm seeing stars. Cloud, you're so gonna pay for this. <laughs> She'll be fine. Give the man a break. I think it was a memorable experience. <laughs> Still alive? Miraculously, yeah. Uh, who's this? <gasps> so cute. Oh, goes right next to Cloud. Oh my god, they're basically spitting image of each other. Wait a sec. That is uncanny. <laughs> I know, right? Meet Cloud Jr. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Jr. Kill me. <laughs> <laughs> We brought him home. Didn't even get to say goodbye. At least we know he's with family now. We'll miss you, Cloud Jr. All right, that was the best part of the game. Pack it up, we're done. Nothing more to see here. I am not looking forward to this. Yeah, right, Barrett. You're homecoming. You'll see. Barrett doesn't want to go home, and I don't blame him. Sir Wallace has graced us with his presence. Hmm? Surprised you had the balls to come back, but we're so glad you did. <laughs> there. A hero's welcome. Leave him alone! Don't. What? <sighs> Whatever. Just puts on the shades. Word to the wise. Stay far away from that asshole.
Now where do our buddies in black get to? Well, I'll be. I'll never forget that day as long as I live. Ah, which of you dicks killed the bottle? Him. Go get more. The hell I did. Get it man, yourself. Oh, man. With what money, you shit for brains? Ain't had no honest work since that damn a customer. A customer. Yeah, believe it or not, buddy, I am right here. And I'm not buying anything, by. <laughs> not a day goes by, I don't wonder. Would my husband still be here if we hadn't let them build that damn reactor? Suppose don't tell me! Ourselves. Get rich quick scheme Did blow up in your face again? Leave. Try to sell out another town, huh? Don't let him talk to you like that. I can take it. Aww. Been out of work for ages. One kill. I can relate, dude. It's ass. Give me back my family. Hurry it up, would ya? Thanks. Thanks. I trust you ain't just window shopping. Depends on what you got. Okay, you got cards? I am not just window shopping. Bye. Get the hell out of here. I'll take anything you don't want. Anything. So much for that reactor and a steady paycheck. Sorry, I'm sorry. I promise I'll do it right now. How time. dare you what show you your face here? Get the hell out of here. You sure you're okay with this? Yeah. She a new wife? Well, good for you. Glad someone got their happy ending. Sorry, Tifa. Just ignore them. This place is nothing like it was. Was it something I said? Neither are we. Oh. Hey, guys. You mind if I pop in for a minute? Years. There's someone Not I want to see. Goes by, I don't think of my husband. Aww. His old gun's the only thing I've got left to remember him by. When I got hurt back in Nibelheim, they brought me to this clinic. The doctor here, Sheeran, he's the one who saved my life. Oh. You're telling me Doc Sheeran's the one who fixed you up? Come on. Do not be deceived. You know the truth. Trust in me. Sephiroth! Stop! <laughs> the hell's gotten into you, man. What's going on? Barrett Wallace. Dr. Sheeran. It's... it's been a while. <laughs> Certainly has. <laughs> That's one frightening looking appendage you got there. But hey, at least you still seem to have your health. Yeah, and you too. Oh, I'm feeling the miles, but the work keeps me trucking. I tell you what, though. Do you remember me? Well, of course I do, Tifa. It hasn't been that long. You heal up all right? I did, yeah. I just wanted to drop by and say thank you. If it wasn't for you, I doubt I'd be standing here today. Don't thank me. Thank Lady Luck and Shinra for that helicopter. I'm sorry, Shinra? I know you might find it hard to believe. But not all the apples in that bunch are rotten. But seriously, you're living proof of the good in people. Don't ever forget that. It'd be a pity to let their kindness go to waste. Yeah. 
Besides, you need to set a good example for your friends here. Oh, hmm. right. Well, I gotcha. Mind helping me out? Need to draw that gentleman's blood. You think you can hold him still for me? <laughs> At first, I thought it was just Mako poisoning. That is, until I ran some tests. The results were strange. Strange how? A substance turned up. One I've never seen before. Not sure what to make of it yet, but it did remind me of one I have seen. Your eyes. Soldier, right? X soldier. It's not a job. First class. So once a soldier, always a soldier. Ha. Huh. Spare a drop? No. Yeah. I ask, because I suspect there's soldiers suffering from cellular degradation. Just a theory for now. And one I can't prove, not without a lot more testing. You see many of these guys come through? Yeah, and then some. I do what I can for the injured ones, but leave the rest to stumble onto the saucer. Why would they go there? Shit. <laughs> Don't ask me. I think it's odd, too. <laughs> hey, Red, thank you. Ain't that something? The girl I saved coming back here with Barrett, of all people. I'm sure there's some kind of cosmic significance to that, but hell if I know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> if there's one thing you can count on, it's Dr. Sharon. Dr. Sharon's been distributing meals to the people in town. Says it's because he wants to keep them healthy and out of his clinic. Just between us, though, he's actually been mixing supplements into the meals. Wow. Supplement? The doc was here when everything went down in Corel. Unfortunately, his family wasn't. Terrible shame. Oh. Reunion. Not the reunion. So, Doc mentioned the gold saucer, right? As in the amusement park, where every day is a holiday? We're going, right? I mean, we have to. Yuffie. This isn't a vacation. Yeah, yeah. Weird mumbling guys, got it. Oh man, this is gonna be so much fun! Town's got a ropeway that'll take us straight there. It's not far. If we're doing this, let's just do it. Oh no. Wait. Where am I? Oh god, that's where Mount Corral is? Okay, so we went in here, went through here, went through here, went through here, ended up here. And there's... I was just gonna call it Triple Triad, oh my god. I'm sorry. Uh, and there's Queen's Blood. Can I leave the area? Do they let me? Rock bottom. Open your heart and heed her Chadley. mournful cries. Where she suffers as you do. Of Robed Men and Ransoms by Dr. Sharon. Right? So I can do that off stream. It doesn't seem too crazy. So this is the gate to get out into the open world. Hey, isn't that one of the hey I want to leave. I want to want to go out into the open world. Oh man, I thought we could make the gold saucer today, but a little chirping. Ain't little no more. Got chicken for Turns out we're not making it to the gold saucer. Share in her rage. Chadley jump scare. This dude, man, this dude. All right, that is where we're going to stop for today though. And then we will come back on Monday. So Monday is my last stream in this location. And then I'm going back home after that stream. And then I'll be in my normal apartment on Tuesday. So one more stream with Elliot. That's all. And no Elliot today. I have to go check up on him. But yeah. Sorry about no Elliot. But I'll make sure that on Monday you guys get a good goodbye for Elliot. But yeah. One more stream here. 
And that means on Tuesday stream, I'll not only be back in the apartment, but we'll also start our schedule of Unicorn Overlord on Tuesday and Thursday. And then uh, FF7 on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. All right? That being said, thank you for chilling, friends. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. And don't be stupid. All right? Bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>